Hey everyone, happy Thursday. This is Joe from the Northeastern Native Plant Digest bringing you another video. Today I wanted to talk about one, uh, another one of my favorite ground covers. Uh, it's great for naturalizing a woodland setting and uh, that's Chrysogonum virginianum. It's also commonly known as uh, green and gold. So uh, this is a little uh, evergreen perennial. It's native to the eastern United States. Uh, typically gets about maybe six to eight inches high and uh, it's uh, hardy from about uh, zones five through nine. Uh, so one, a couple of the things that I like about this, for one is it is evergreen, so it stays green all year long. Uh, in the spring, it gets this, this new growth that shoots up, and then starting in May, late May, as you can see here, it gets these beautiful little yellow flowers on them. And uh, this will bloom all the way, uh, off and on through the summer, all the way up into October. Uh, so that's a, that's a, adds a nice splash of color. Looks great. You know, paired with ferns, it looks great. Paired with euchara, uh, beautiful yellow flowers. Um, another one of the things that I really love about this plant is that it's just so easy to divide and, uh, and put somewhere else in the garden. All you need to do is get a little sprig like this and pull it up. As long as it has just one little piece of root on it, you can plant this somewhere else and it's gonna take off. Um, it's not a garden thug. It does spread, as you can see, by, with, by runners here. Uh, but it's not a garden thug, uh, and it looks great. And uh, so I, this is a start that I put in here just last year. It was just one little piece, kind of like that. So you can see it's already like quadrupled in size. And then I put some more in. So this is one I put in yesterday. It's just a little piece, and I got it here with some ferns. Um, I put another one in here. Got some more coming out here. And this is great for, uh, for accenting like a walkway. Uh, loves uh, moisture woodland soil, dappled sunlight. It can take some full sun as long as it has uh, as long as it has adequate moisture. But uh, this one was just one piece I put in last year too, and as you can see, it's already really starting to fill out. So uh, there you go. This is you know another great native plant you can use in your garden, uh, and it's it's going to behave. It's going to do well. It's going to spread. It's going to add beauty. Uh, it gets little bees that pollinate it. So this is Chrysogonum virginianum, green and gold. Look for it. Uh, you know, call your local nurseries, ask them about these plants. The best way to get native plants into our garden centers is to ask for them. And that's what I do. And I even tell them sometimes that I don't, uh, I don't even, I won't even buy there if they don't carry them or if they don't order them for me. So there you go. Hope you have a great day and uh, subscribe to my channel. If you like it, give it a thumbs up. Talk to you later. Bye.